So sick and tired of like an, another mealtime, another networking event, another let's get together and exchange business cards. So insanely lame. I got stacks of them from years past and I just threw them all in the fire, right? Is networking dead? Is there a way to actually do it correctly that isn't a waste of time? Is there a way to do it that could actually lead to insane levels of what we actually want? Like incredible connections with people we can grow and do bigger business with our partner and, and make deals happen, real estate, whatever. Friends, I'm gonna explore today and I can promise you this, I'm gonna share a principle with you that last year alone made me over a million dollars. Check it out. Cause we're gonna be So I'm joined today by Rob Gill. He's in the house. What's he up, just freaking crushed it on stage at my event. Um, I wanted Rob to actually be here for this conversation because, dude, we have done our fair share of networking that has been a freaking total gimmick waste of time. Yes. Um, and yet, we've also learned how to do something that looks kind of like networking that has blown it out of the freaking water. When you look at our connections and the things that are happening right now. Unbelievable. So first of all, this whole idea of like, hey, go to the networking event. Like, <laughs> good idea, bad idea, right? It's, it's a bad idea. Really? Yeah. Well, why for you personally? It's, I've been there, done that. Um, there's no predictable outcome. There's no, I, I don't have any kind of measurement of a result other than you may have made a connection or two and business that may have come, but it, nothing sustainable and nothing predictable. Dude, and you know what the worst is? The worst is when you're actually, dude, can you hear the event? Oh, I love it's it. like lit it's up awesome. right now. I don't even know if their audio picking that up. It's like, that was awesome. Um, that's Sean Callagy crushing it right now. Right now. Um, seriously though, like, you know how lame it is when you go to like a networking group where everyone is like the same socioeconomic status, everyone's kind of blah, 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 but doing different things like, hi, I'm a lawyer, I'm a, I'm a CEO, I do this thingy, I work at this person. And it's like, all right, you can do some tit for tat business, but I'm talking about how do you freaking find a connection that's like beast, like freaking, there's so much networking out there that is a total, these networking groups, Yeah. right? Yeah. You, know, you know what I found, we're talking about that because when I, and I'm just sitting here thinking about you when I connected with you and all you did right away was give. Like that's what you did. You gave, you gave, you gave, you gave, you, you, you know, you had, you were texting me, you were calling me, you were giving, you were given all kinds of kind of strategies that were phenomenal. And when I think of the, you know, the art of giving is living or the art of living is giving, I should yeah. say, you were an example of that and the teacher of that to me as we began to form our relationships in our, in our current ecosystem. Well, and what I wanna share in today's video is not just like knock on what's not working. I actually wanna talk about what does work because actually the community that Rob and I found each other, and by the way, we've been gone on to become business partners and do a number of different things together where you and I, by the way, we actually just bought some real estate. I didn't even tell you yet. Like it's freaking going on. Wow. Um, like seriously, we've got a big wealth plan. Things are blowing up in a great way, but it's not, um, so much that we met at networking, what we did is we met in a very specific sphere. Yeah. If you want any type of networking to work for you, number one, you actually have to get part of a network with individuals that are up to crazy big things. These are not the free networking groups. The people that are up to big things yes. do not come to the free luncheons. Yes. They don't go to like the cheap little, are you kidding me? Um, I mean, through what I'm about to teach you, I have friends that are billionaires. I, one of them is giving me a million dollars a year in our foundation for the work that we're doing around the world. I've met, some, I've met people like Rob and Sean Callagy and others. So number one, you gotta put yourself in the space of where the winners are at, the go-getters, that actually have a history of results yes. that are currently they've made millions or hundreds of millions or billions of dollars. And if, this, and if the network doesn't have those people, which usually means you gotta pay a pot price to get in the door. Like yeah. there's no free ticket. Like if you, if you aren't paying for your networking, then it will not pay off. It's a waste of time. I agree with that 100% in my experience. I mean, listen, at the end of the day, and, and the, the sphere that we are in, the winners there that are examples of proven action every single day, right? And Sean talks about that as process mastery. Um, and Chris is a shining example of that. Even I remember when I was talking about it on stage today, when I first met him, he was furiously taking notes, right? We were sitting right next to each other, like in the first row, and his note-taking ability and his, his ability to play out, play all out, and his action was so much louder than his words. It was incredible, and I didn't even know all this. That was just when I first met him. It was just, actually I was distracted because your bright orange shirt was reflecting <laughs> off my papers like, ah, <laughs> messing with you. I did have a bright orange shirt that no, day. You know though, um, so that's the first principle is if you're not paying to network with the right people, then just don't pay at all and don't waste your time. Um, I think the second important thing though that goes with what you're talking about is 
that go in with an intention to serve people, not get something. Mm. So many times these joint ventures and things don't come together because it's always, I'll do this if you give me that. Yep, and that's what networking is. That is what networking is, that's it's very exactly transactional. Is. Yes. And um, th this is about to seem a little bit like, whoa, did you just really go there? Like my wife is literally offset right over here. And my wife and I, when we first met, our love was super unconditional, which meant I would have done anything for this woman. And then we habituate to each other, right? And after that settles in, love can sometimes become transactional. Yeah. Tit for tat. Understood. Networking. Yep. Then we figured out how to bring it back to unconditional, yeah. which basically says, I want to give you something because I really care about you. I don't need something back. I literally just want to serve. Mm. And I learned this actually from Sean Callagy so Beautiful. powerfully. I learned it from wow. him and passed on here and you back to me, which is, how can I serve you? What do you need? And it's, it, don't just offer it with words. Actually find out. Tell me about you. Tell me about your business and be thinking. What do they need? Do I have something that can benefit them? And if yes. you do, then go all out and bless them. Share. Yes. Because people want to build a relationship with people that they like. If you get to a point where you're doing well enough, I, at this point, I definitely don't want to do any business with people that I would have to tolerate. Yeah. I want to do business, business like Rob, Genuinely, he's a friend. He's a really good guy. Yep. Um, he has all sorts of strategies in the wealth arena that totally resonate with me and that I really appreciate and love. There's a couple things he does where I'm like, I see how that would work for other people. It doesn't work for me. And Sometimes cool. he gets confused. You, you know, the reality is we don't always see eye to eye, but that's actually part of what makes a network really powerful. Because sometimes Chris gets confused. Yeah, or Rob is confused and he projects it on me and thinks that I'm confused when actually he's the confused one. Sometimes you confuse him and you lose him. Your time is short. With your mortal coil on this planet, it should be used to yeah. actually spend time with the right people. You gotta do a checkup for the neck up. Yeah. <laughs> I won't try to even compete with you because you have like 3,000 platitudes in your head and you're ready to go. Oh my gosh. I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know what that means. <laughs> check, off, you check your brain. Check your thinking. Check thanks, for, that thanks for explaining that. Okay. Can you use it one day, please? No. All right. No, I want, there's only one Rob Gill. <laughs> there's, there's only one OG Rob Gill. Okay. Oh my um, so, I do have fun. So, so guys, here's what we're talking about. Don't do lame networking that's transactional. Mm. Find people, pay to get in the spaces with people that are hustling and making it happen, and then find out how to serve them. And don't expect something in return. Here's my promise, this is what I've witnessed. If you'll try to help as many people as possible in scoring really powerful connections, mm. there's, a, there's something out there called the law of reciprocity. When someone connects with you and appreciates the gift, often there's a, a desire to want to reciprocate. Maybe they will, maybe they won't. You can't have the expectation. Yep. But I, I really think that well said. what we're doing is working so well because yes. it's literally, what can we do? Now, by the way, you've been using this. You've just slated it on a couple of relationships where crazy stuff is happening right now. Yes. Like really big. Yes, absolutely. So, so one of the things I want to share with Chris though, and, and I was just thinking about this as he was talking when it came to joining partnerships, the thing that I admire about you, and I think it's important, your ability when it, come down, when it came down to the agreements was, I want to make everybody else happy. I'll never forget when you said that in Sean's office. You know what I mean? Like, okay. And that is part of the giving. And that is part of, unlike the business that we were brought up in, where, hey, how much am I making if I do this deal? Right, Eddie Gartner? You know, if people think like that, that is something that, that I just kind of go in the opposite direction. And when I met with Chris through Sean and, and that whole world, I began to realize that I was home. Yeah. That I was with people that, that think like me, and but they've been there, done that on a, on a large scale. Well, and I want to give credit right now. Thank and you that's for a, that. That's really, Thank you. yeah, for real. I, I want to give credit uh, where it's due. Uh, two years ago, I was sitting in a Tony Robbins event, and he taught a principle called proximity is power. Mm. And he basically said, you can, you can do more with one relationship than you can in lifetimes of work. Wow. And it basically says most of us are trained to spend time with people that we're comfortable with. That's why we go to free luncheons and normal networking events. But the reality is that's not where you're going to find your growth. You might get lucky. Mm. But I'm telling you, billionaires and mega millionaires and, and, and successful people, they don't go to free luncheons. Are you kidding me? Nope. You're going to find all the people that, that are looking for a free meal to kind of meet other people like that. It's true. And if you become the average of the five people you spend the most time with, if you more or less make the same amount of money as the five people you spend the time with, then we gotta actually start swapping some people out, swapping some new people in. Yes. And don't incrementally swap in slightly better. Go for, freaking go for gold. It's like, who do you know? 
Go to their events, gain proximity to them, find a way to get in their airspace, join their masterminds. By the way, write the checks, like get in there. For me, I spent probably in the last two years close to half a million dollars wow. um, gaining proximity to incredible human beings, not to be confused with networking. Yes. And that has led to a number of new business relationships, some of them that are just taking off, crazy stuff happening. New business relationship with Rob that has been so enjoyable and such a perfect you know, hand and glove fit. And it's, it's been a lot to pay, but guess what? I've already physically made all of that money back and a whole lot more. Mm. And, um, and so what we're talking about today, thank you Tony Robbins, is proximity is power. Get proximity to people that are the movers and shakers really making it happen. Go where they go, be where they are, serve them unconditionally. And if you do that enough, it's only a matter of time before the law of reciprocity and karma kicks in and says, it's time to come back in your favor. Yeah, and to, to touch on that point, when you talk about the law of reciprocity and giving with no expectation, when I just watch you as a student, and I, when I watch and I'm observing and I'm modeling Chris, because for me, I wanna be with the people that have been there, done that on a world-class stage, he really has no expectation. He just gives, he just, and, he's, and his work ethic, and it really comes down to this, you know, free networking and, and going to free events in the end, at, at the end of the day, you're not gonna get what you want out of that. And when it comes to really being able to bring it on a daily basis, and he brings it with congruency, with love, his breakthrough techniques are incredible. Getting to know him more and more, I find, I learned just sitting here and I'm watching you break down every sentence. It's like, wow, I didn't, I didn't see that last time. Like, mm. And you probably did it, but I didn't see it last time. You know what I mean? And, and the simplicity in his messaging, yet, the way he breaks it down is so world class, it's just incredible. And, and the art of living is giving with no expectation. You just did it again. Guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Rob, thanks for being here. Listen, if you wanna connect with Rob and I, you can actually do that at my live events. We're gonna actually give you proximity to a whole host of amazing human beings at the live events, plus bring you incredible training on real estate, wealth, business. Um, for those of you who wanna learn more about Rob and his team at Epic, what they do for structuring and building wealth, they do it in a very generous manner that no one else I've found is really willing to do with the heart of gold that they do. And so if you're serious about building wealth, you're gonna learn more about them. That's certainly in the link below. With that, smash that like button and we will see you on tomorrow's video. Oh.